Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, let's do the Poco M3 smartphone unboxing and full review. So this Poco M3 smartphone is actually comes with a price of around the 10,000 price segment. Well, in this video, let's do its unboxing and I'll share its full review also with and how much time it takes to complete the full charge and its battery drain test. So all the things will be covering in this video itself. Well, let's start this video guys. Well guys, now this is the Poco M3 smartphone package. So on the rear side, here is the, some of the highlighted specs. It comes with a 6000 mAh battery and it has a 48 megapixel triple camera setup. And this smartphone is not having the ultra wide angle sensor. And the most highlighted part is, so this smartphone powered with the Qualcomm Snapdragon 662 processor and it is based on a Adreno 610 based GPU. And in terms of gaming, it will be better. And then it is comes with a full HD plus resolution with 6.53 inches of display. Well, now let's unbox this package. After opening the package, now here is a small box. So inside the box, I think we'll get a SIM ejector pin and then uh, some of the paper works has been given and then a transparent case is given so it is a fully clear transparent case then after that you will have a poco device so this is the poco m3 smartphone and it is a cool blue color variant so as you seen here so this is the color variant so this actually looks uh, superb on the first impression And after that inside the box we will get a so here is the USB type C cable so it is an USB type C cable and then so it is a 22.5 watts of adapter so actually this smartphone is actually supported only 18 watts of fast charging only but you will get a 22.5 watts of uh, adapter so that's all the package is contained now let's move on to the smartphone overview well guys after the unboxing now on the first impression so let's see the rear panel design so actually this design is uh, it's a very very unique so you haven't just seen like this design in any other brands so this time poco has come with a unique design in the poco m3 smartphone as you see here it has a very big uh, rectangular camera module and uh, inside the camera module that the uh, it has it having a poco branding and uh, see the rear panel texture so it is actually built on a plastic material but it is having a very rough in surface and it is also similar to the leather material like design so it can be easy for holding you can easily hold this smartphone in your uh, in your hands itself without uh, putting any back case like that and likewise this uh, smartphone the rear panel is not having a fingerprint uh, mark like that it is comes with the anti finger mark so even though if you are pressing some of the fingers also so no finger marks will be appeared in the rear panel so overall this smartphone is uh, actually gives a very good experience on holding the smartphone also it gives a good experience to handle the smartphone easily and in terms of weight also it is not comes with the too much of weight it comes with the almost a medium level of weight uh, yeah, user can carry and uh, in terms of thickness also it comes with the minimum in thickness well overall on the first impression i really like the design and you can easily hold this smartphone without any case and now on the physical overview so firstly on the top and bottom so on the, on the top side here is a higher blaster speaker grill 3.5 jack and then near yeah, secondary microphone and the bottom here is a primary microphone usb type c port and then speaker grill and moving on to the sides on the left side here is the sim card slot it is a triple card slot so you can able to put a dual nano sim plus in addition to that you can also put your memory card too and uh, on the right side here is a volume keys and then the power on off button and uh, along with the power on off button uh, fingerprint scanner is also been equipped then on the front side so it is a 6.53 inches full hd plus ips lcd display and this display is having a 2340 to 1080 pixel resolution 
and uh, in terms of display configuration so i have actually viewed some of the multiple uh, movies videos and uh, some of the netflix series also so while watching the videos all under netflix series it having a very good picture quality even though it is an ips lcd display it actually uh, gives a very good brightness actually so it is not having that much of a richer contrast and a richer colors but it comes with a good brightness so you can able to view the content clearly and so in case if you are watching uh, movies for frequent time so this display will never give you a bad experience and this display is based on a dew drop notch display and inside the notch it having a 8 megapixel of a selfie camera and moving on to the rear side so it has a rectangular camera module and inside the camera module it having a triple camera sensor one is a 48 megapixel primary camera and in addition to that 2 megapixel macro and 2 megapixel portrait sensors are given and in terms of camera performance i have actually uh, taken multiple photos using this poco m3 smartphone and just see the all the photos i have displayed here in terms of camera quality so the selfie side uh, actually if you have seen means so it is comes with a very average quality of your selfie photos so if you are actually zoom on to 1x like that also so in the 1x itself the pixels are actually broken and uh, moving on to the rear side so rear side is actually having a uh, some uh, good uh, some good enough photos so it is actually having a very good color optimization it produces very good colors rich colors that means uh, and uh, while taking photos in the both the uh, artificial lighting and the natural lighting condition also so uh, on the rear camera you, you can expect some good amount of photos and even though if you are uh, zooming to uh, up to 3x the picture quality will be uh, almost okay but more than that the pixels will be uh, totally broken and you can't able to view that much of details and generally in both the selfie camera and the rear camera samples you can't able to view more details but viewing the photos at the 1x picture quality it may gives you a uh, good experience on uh, viewing photos the uh, picture quality is good and it has a good color optimization so if you are uh, actually taking your photos in the natural lighting condition means so this smartphone will definitely give you a good picture quality and uh, so these are all the photos i have taken in this poco n3 smartphone now what are your guys thoughts on this uh, photo samples let me know in the comment section below now moving on to its performance this poco m2 smartphone is actually powered with the qualcomm snapdragon 662 processor and it is based on a adreno 610 based gpu and in terms of performance for performance stretching i have played multiple higher graphics games so on playing with the higher graphics games so actually it is not having any lag and in terms of graphics it's also it having some of the smooth graphics only and have a very good experience on playing games using this poco m3 smartphone but the thing is that so this smartphone is actually uh, produce a lot of heat so completely the rear panel case and this camera module and on the front display all these spots are get heated uh, very quickly and that heat is actually maintained throughout your playing uh, games so uh, the heat will never get reduced so if you are playing for a one hour or two hour games like that means for two hours consistently the heat will be produced but if you are uh, stop playing for a uh, five to ten minutes means in the five to ten minutes it cools down to the normal position so that is a uh, one of the thing so it actually produces more heat but it is but it doesn't having any lag like that so if you are playing games means you can uh, easily play the games i have actually played a call of duty uh, mobile game so it is actually played well so it has a very good graphics and i can able to move fastly and i can able to make a gunshot fastly like that i can able to make all the gestures uh, quickly and it is having no lag like that but the thing is it is having a uh, heat and similarly uh, we have also played some of the netflix series we have actually watched a netflix series for a hours but during watching netflix series there is no more heat but having slight heat at the display port only and this smartphone is actually runs on miui 12 based on android 10 os 
and in terms of uh, features i actually post a separate video so regarding this poco m3 smartphone the uh, top 10 plus features so you'll get this video in the upcoming days uh, now finally moving on to its uh, battery section so this smartphone is actually uh, purpose with a 6000 mAh of battery with 18 watts of fast charging support and actually in the box you will get a 22.5 watt supported adapter but you can uh, but this smartphone is supports up to 18 watts of fast charging only generally we test the battery drain and the fast charging cell test in a separate video but i have included in this video itself so i have actually done the fast charging during the uh, switch off condition only i have not done the fast charging during switch on condition but in the switch off condition itself it actually takes up to three hours to complete a full charge so it uh, for averagely it actually takes so one percentage of charge is actually filled up for one minute that is also for up to 50 percentage only so 50 percentage of charge is actually filled up in 50 minutes but overall to fill up the total 100 percentage of charge it takes totally three hours that means 180 minutes so first 50 percent it actually takes 50 minutes but next 50 minutes is actually takes 130 minutes the first of four charging is actually fast but the second half is actually the charges the fast charging is actually stepped down so that is the concept actually so but uh, this smartphone is actually comes with only 18 hours of fast charging so that's why it actually takes 50 minutes to charge a 50 percentage and the second half is actually takes uh, 130 minutes to cars fill up the second 50 percentage of charge and in terms of battery draining so for battery draining we have uh, done uh, multiple things uh, so like we have actually watched netflix series well now let's see the total screen on time of this poco m3 smartphone so actually we have uh, watched uh, four hours of uh, netflix so which actually consumed the 43 percentage of your battery and the two hours of gameplay which uh, which actually consumed the 32 percentage of battery and finally we have played 2.5 hours of uh, youtube videos we watched the 2.5 hours of youtube videos it actually takes 25 percentage of battery so total battery is 100 percentage is totally completed so for this it's actually taken uh, so total screen on time is actually 8.5 hours uh, so 8.5 hours is the total screen on time and in between i have actually kept it sometimes idle also but idle time but standby time will not be included in the sot but during standby the battery performance is very very good since uh, actually i have uh, make a standby at a 25 percentage of battery level and i make a standby for up to two hours but after two hours also so the percentage of battery is not reduced even one percentage also so still the battery percentage is at the 25 percentage only after a two hours of a standby also so in case if you are a user and your battery is actually gone to five percentage like that also in case you and the and if you actually turn off all the battery drain settings so like a wi-fi bluetooth and the location and even a mobile data so like switching off all the things and they just kept it, keep your smartphone for only attending the calls like that means it, it can definitely withstand for you for more than uh, two to three hours uh. so in terms of standby this smartphone is actually comes with a very good battery performance and apart from this it has some of the additional features like it comes with the studio speakers and this studio speakers is also very good so it has produced a very large amount of sound quality so even if you are playing a video in the not without any headphones like that means clearly produces sound quality and it is enough for a room so in case if you are having a room means so the sound quality is will be hearable inside the total room and then it has a dual mic support and it is having a higher blaster so you can use this smartphone as a uh, remote control so to access your smart tv and it is having a dedicated uh, sd card slot so it is a triple card slot so you can in case if you want additional uh, storage means you can put a uh, additional sd card along with your dual sim card and in terms of battery section also so it is actually comes to the usb type c port and it has a 18 watts of power charging in addition to that it having a wired reverse power charging that means you can use this 6000 mAh of battery this poco m3 smartphone as a power bank 
but for that you need a type c to type c cable but the general people will not use the type c to type c cable mostly and in the box also you not get a type c to type c cable so you need to buy this type c to type c cable separately in a store and after that so using that type c to type c cable you can just uh, charge other smartphones or other uh, charging case of any bluetooth wireless earbud like that but the charging speed is only 2.5 watts only so that is uh, not uh, that much good so even uh, 18 watts of power charging or 10 watts of power charging is not enough so yeah, 10 watts of power charging itself takes uh, so only it actually charges uh, one percentage or two percent for more than 10 to 15 minutes like that so in that condition if a 2.5 watts of power charging means so how it will be the uh, charging speed let's guess uh, so but in case of emergency like uh, if you want to charge some other smartphone so immediately or um, in emergency urgently you need to smart you need to charge a smartphone means you can do this uh, you can use this method to uh, charge other smartphone using using the use using the type c to type c cable with this poco m3 smartphone well overall that's all about this video guys now what are your guys thoughts on this poco m3 smartphone let me know in the comment section below and in case if you guys already using this poco m3 smartphone means so what your experience on using this smartphone let us share your experience in the comment section below and that's all about this video guys and hopefully if you guys like this video hit the like button and if you guys like to watch my upcoming videos hit the subscribe button below and thanks for watching this